everyone. Welcome to the fourth tutorial to a beginner's guide on how to end scape. Now, we will be doing Revit Live Camera this time, focusing on our Revit side here on the left while we have Enscape split on the other side. Look for the new Enscape interface here in the ribbon, which is this one. Here, we got a button here that's called Synchronized View. Notice that when I click this, the Enscape Camera View change. Now, what this does is, if this is toggled on, whatever view that I do within Revit is automatically being updated within Enscape. Now, to toggle that off, or rather to disable that, simply go back to the button here and just click it again. And that's what it does for the synchronized view. Now, moving on, you will notice that here, there's a small arrow pointing downwards. This shows that there's more option available for us, so let's give it a try. And that's the Revit Live Camera. Now, when toggled on, like so, a camera will appear in the initial position of our 3D view. So, when I zoom out like this, here is the camera. Its position will always be in the initial spot of your 3D view. Now, let's give it a move like so. And you will notice that the Enscape view moves along with it. So what this does is we can control its posi positioning and take notice that when we move it, Enscape view goes along with it. Now, it doesn't really look like much useful here if it's done within 3D. So let's give it a try in the floor plan instead. Let me just fix its view first so that it's very distinct and can be easy to find once we go into floor plan view. I'll be putting it here near the staircase. All right, now you will notice it's kind of above or rather below the ground out of boundary. So let's give it a bit of more height. Okay, now it's a lot better. It was first looking somewhere here at the bottom like this. Okay, now that we fix it there. Also notice when I move here in Enscape, the camera follows along with it. This can also be an easy find for you in case your camera got lost somewhere. So anyway, moving on, let's go back to the floor plan view here. All right, now that we're here in the ground floor plan view, let's look for the camera. It should be around this area here. It's this one. Okay, now let's give it a move here within the room like so. All right, now notice how, again, Enscape follows along with it. So let's rotate it here. All right, now it's looking good. Okay, so when done like this within a layout or a plan view, it's actually very useful. It's a function that helps us navigate and set up a view specifically in very complex project. Also, before I forget, this element has its own parameters and a property. So let's just go back to view here in Windows, user interface, and open up the properties palette. And it's this one right here. It has parameters that we can play around with. And before I forget, notice how its color is actually very difficult to find. So if it was actually placed here, it's kind of hard to see, right? We can actually edit its family, click here, go to edit family, and let's, you can actually change its size here since it's, a, it's just a generic extrusion, like so. Also, we can add a material so we can add a color to it. Let's give it a try. Let's give it an instance. Just press OK on this one and load it back into our project. There we go. Notice how it's much larger now and kind of a little bit easier to see, but it still has the same gray color. So since we added the material parameter to it, 
let's give it a very good color let's look for something noticeable maybe a wood let's try mahogany my favorite color There we go. Now, again, it's hard to see since it has the same material of our tile, but if we had it put outside like here, it's looking a lot better. All right. And here, like I said before, you can actually control it via Enscape as well, of course. There. Okay, that's it for this video. For questions and suggestions, please do comment below and if you find this tutorial helpful, do support me by liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much, guys.